Warning, the following may contain adult themes, concepts, and languages. Be aware that there is a separation between the character and the player, even when the pronoun I is used. Okay, so I guess we're gonna, or Yuma will ask around. Maybe I'll join her and help her so she has advantage on the roll. Uh, ask around to see if anyone's traveling that way and be willing to hire bodyguards. Uh, go ahead. So it's a what, charisma check, persuasion charisma. check. Straight up charisma with advantage. It's straight up charisma with advantage. Okay. So that's just a 20 plus 3? Yes. Okay. Nah. Uh, most people in this town just want to stay in their town. Uh, you learn that the city or the town that you're going to is called Amida. Okay. Um, you'll learn that most people, uh, the, the villagers are, uh, have sent in, in the week that, or in the, the couple of days that you were just staying around, waiting, etc. Uh, villagers have moved back to the mm. two villages up here. That was quick. Just to, just to see how everything goes. It's more like the scouting group mm. to see um, if they're uh, if they're still the um, what you would call it if the, the goblins etc. No, if the goblins oh. etc. are still there, if the villages are still there, which they shouldn't be, they were burned down. Yeah, they were they were in fact burned down, but the goblins seem to be absent. Um, you also learn that uh, scouts have been sent to Dimale to ask for. Um, help and see if they can find out more about the goblins themselves. Yeah. Um, I would have liked to interrogate that guy about the Goblin King, but someone threw his sword into his chest. I kept missing, and it had to be dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, th that would take, like, uh, 12 to 14 days to get okay. their information, get back probably 14 to 15. Um... Nobody is necessarily going to Amida apart from the knights oh. who are going to move to Amida and from there to Emporium. So we can go with the knights basically? Yeah, they don't mind if you tag along. Well, safety in numbers, right? You won't get paid for it, but why not? Alright, um, then I guess if they're, if they're waiting for until we get our money... If they're going to be sticking around that long, then we'll do that. Otherwise, I'm waiting for my money. They are sticking around longer just to um, basically give their uh, their knights that f uh, fell in battle the proper burial. Nobody was allowed entrance when they did so. Okay. Um, and they were just gathering their stuff again, repairing their weapons and armor and healing. Okay. Uh, the, the dwarf and blacksmith was extremely busy, and the plans are being made to repair or actually make a new southern gate. Okay, well, if they're um, if we're just gonna be doing nothing but waiting, then I'm going to maybe see if I can't do get a little money for some physical labor. Uh, what type of labor are you looking for? I, uh, I mean, like, depending on how they bury the dead digging, otherwise maybe helping with moving stuff, getting everything set. Basically just anything physical, you know, whatever they need help with. You could help with uh, chopping wood. Yeah, sure. And, um, as long as I get some money out of it, it doesn't have to be much. From the north to the south, uh, from, the, uh, from the tree line to the city, so that from the wood, coffins can be made so the dead can be buried okay. properly. Yeah, I can do that. I mean, as long as I get a little, little bit of money out of it, I just don't want to sit around and do nothing for a week, you know? You'll get, like, a silver a day. Okay. Which, for the six days, will give you six silver. Anyone else also doing stuff like that? Nope. I'll be in the tavern playing if people... You want to see if you to... catch any information? Yeah, keep an ear out for stuff. Anything new, anybody new. Okay. 
Uh, people are... Well, the people that come into the tavern are basically villagers or travelers who come here uh, and just hear the news about what happens or happened. Um, tales of similar things. Raids are... Um, you, you get tales from raiders all across the uh, mountain slash forest line. So what happened in Meriton actually happened for... And um, look at the map around this line. Like that area was affected by those raids. Um, so you you hear a lot about villagers that got uh, destroyed, villagers that got killed. Um. But from actual interesting things, you, uh, yeah, you hear the, the story about the um, uh, cockatrices who have been uh, raging and causing more and more damage, and that a couple of people are going after them. The chimera is still wreaking havoc. Um, no real news, basically. At the end of the six days. The one thousand gold is given to you. As as at the, as gold. Um, as platinum. Okay. Oh, so okay. everyone add twenty five platinum, I guess. And you basically you are now welcome in this town. And they'll help you whenever, or in, in reasonable stuff, they will help you. And you now have kind of a friend in the commander. Actually, one thing I would have asked the commander during this time would be if he, I mean, cause he, he's, a, a, he's like a political figure, kind of, yeah? Yeah, more a combination between political and military, though he probably has more military might than he has any political knowledge so to say but so like um while it might not be much his kind of like his so what, what i basically want out of him if he'll give it would be like a letter of i guess recommendation and proof so like oh this person is this his name is this he did this 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 to help my parents and he's a good person yada yada so kind of like a letter of recommendation from him so i know it wouldn't hold as much power as something else from a more political figure but it would be i guess better than nothing uh, he doesn't mind giving it. Okay, so uh, it's it's um uh, it's uh, small letters. Mm -hmm. uh, letters they are um not sealed, but they can be easily rolled up, and you get a. a I don't know what it's called, but you can put it in something. Uh, tube. Which, uh, it's it's basically a cylinder form. Okay, yeah, yeah. I know. It's like a protective cover for the letter. Okay. So everyone gets a letter of recommendation yeah, from the commander. Yeah, gets one of them from him. Which, uh, it states that the, you helped Meriton in a cop on a couple of occasions, and you are deemed by the commander as a good person. So that's something. So, you know, get, get our... We can say, oh yeah, we helped Meriton, we're good people. Really? Prove it. Okay, here. So there we go, covering all our bases. Um, six days pa have passed, you get your money. Mm -hmm. Along with those letters of recommendations. Um, anything else? I mean, heck, if we're ready to travel, I guess we just travel. Uh, I still want to stop by the blacksmith. I mean, a deal is a deal. Uh, we didn't get paid for that. That was part of the thousand gold. Uh-huh. Was it? Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. The city Never basically mind. covered everything. Okay. Um, otherwise, In case... yeah. Inspiring leader! <laughs> and we leave. And, yeah, uh, and by the way, Rita, Rita was part of got was part of that too, so she got it too. No. Of the, of the inspiring leader today? Yeah. Oh, inspiring leader, yes. Yeah. I thought you were meaning the letter of no. recommendation. She no, doesn't no. get that. Yeah, she, so she basically just doubled her HP. 
in my case, I have 40, 45, so, yeah. And I got 25, so, yeah. So you, you basically, yeah, you increased your health from 25 to 32. That's pretty significant. But no, I went from 20 to 25. I know, no, but with temporary hit points, I'm talking, I'm oh, adding yeah. those. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's, that's what I said, as we were talking about, like, what he should get, and I'm like, yeah, if you get this with your charisma... Like, it's pretty significant, especially early on, and later on it will be very nice. So. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's basically another extra hit and whatnot. Alright, so I guess we're ready to go tonight. Let's roll for random encounters. <laughs> yeah. Um, the way I roll for uh, random encounters in long travels is uh, you start with a clear d20, and you um, subsequently minus one for every day that you have traveled. So you have traveled for five days, that's D20 minus four. The first day is three and the okay. subsequent days are minus one. If you got a one or lower, one or lower, one, zero, minus whatever, you have an encounter. Encounters are based on the region you are at and it's also so, um, semi-luck based. You can run into an encounter that's deadly. Okay. Well, hopefully they're all deadly, but not for us. <laughs> <laughs> We're pretty deadly. All right, so uh, should I go ahead and just roll a d20 then? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. We're not going to let... We're not gonna let Toby or Tommy uh, roll. <laughs> and you do that for every subsequent day. Um, you don't have to use any rations since two of you can basically get a food for everyone, including the knights. Um, how many knights are there? There are seven knights. Okay, so it works out perfectly, actually, because we have we have twelve people in total. We can get food for six each. So. Per person. Yeah. So yeah, we're helping out the knights too. All right, d twenty seven. D twenty minus one. Natural twenty. <laughs> Nothing happened that day. Minus two. Fine. It's the minus third day. three. Fourth day. Minus four. Fifth wow. day. This is a full week, yeah? No, full week or seven, uh, seven days. No, I know, I'm saying we're going traveling yeah. for a full week. Yeah, you're traveling for a full week. So two more days. Woo! One more day. This is probable. Yep. <laughs> 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 so, um, you are... Um, closing to the river, but you're still in the forest. Okay. Uh, let's see. More spiders. No, the spiders uh, are north. <laughs> or not very uh. like. I mean, well, the, here's the question. Are the knights going to be fighting with us? Because, dang, that's going to be a tough battle. <laughs> 2d4. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> it's fine. It doesn't matter. We're going to have an Three? encounter anywhere. It's, it's, uh. it's all random. Um, and now we are going to need a, where's the, <laughs> come on, need a pre-generated oh, map, uh, and... I need a 2d50 first, well, a, two, a 2d50, 2d50, yes, roll, 2D50. A lot of chances calculations have been in there. Pretty average. It's one of my own uh, creations, though. Uh, 55. It's pretty dang close to average. <laughs> um, and then it's the f that one, so we'll use that one. And now all I need to have is... Na, 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 na. Do you have like a ton of maps just like saved somewhere? Yeah, I've got one massive thing saved. Oh, oh. that's why I couldn't see it. That explains a lot. That's annoying. Um, we're in a forest two d ten. It's the final roll. Well, for you at least. That's pretty high. Not that it matters. You um are. Uh, 
walking through the forest. Can we have a chance uh, to see if we notice anything? Yes, of course. Actually, this is fairly uh, noticeable. So, roll for mm. perception? Or do you want to use our passive perception? No, this is something you notice immediately. Okay. Um, right in front of you, there, there's like um, um, a hive, beehive fell down. And there's a massive swarm of uh, bees just swarming around it. And they seem to be awfully aggressive to anything and everything that closes in. And they are basically zeroing in on all of you. Okay. Uh, is this theater so of mind? You, all, all of you hear the <clears throat> buzzing of the massive swarm of insects. <clears throat> okay. Um. And we'll roll for initiative to see... Uh, Okay. Since they're okay. coming at you immediately. Um. Yeah. You want to get the tracker out? E20 plus 12. Because I can't, I can't select my token, so like. Uh, yeah, I have the same problem. Let me change that. Let me see. I what can let you. I uh, move to the siege one, and you can let select your token out there. Yeah, that'd be for the best. By the way, mine's 10, <laughs> not 12. I missed that bit. I wish, but... <laughs> I think a plus 12 edited. bonus on initiative is pretty nice. If you have alert, and you have a really dexterous character, it's possible. No, wait, it's not possible. Unless you're a... No, if you have de high dex, you're a high level bard with jack of all trades, and you have alert. So you have plus 5... Uh, plus 5 from your dex, plus 5 from your... Um, alert, and then you get plus two from half of your proficiency. So you'd have to be like level 11, but it's theoretically possible. Um, I'm still at the map, by the way. Hmm. Thought well, I did this already. Yeah, there we go. It's changing now. There we go. Okay, so token. Uh, can you throw Rita on here too, since she's technically there? Or do you want to just keep her with my initiative? Yeah, I'll keep her with yours. Okay. Just for safety's sake. Oh, right. Ooh. <sighs> Mr. Druid is walk. apparently not a. Yeah, Mr. Druid is apparently not ready to fight uh, bees. What are you talking about? I'm number one. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kofik is double ones. So he's twice, twice as good. good. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Even though I'm technically super wow, good. Wow, people. What the hell? Uh, Tommy, go ahead and reroll your initiative. Same with Yuma. I think I changed it. Let me check. Yeah. So, Tommy... Go. Come on. You're Come not on, in the tracker. Did you select no, your I'll token? You can, I think if Tommy can manually... Yeah, I can... Uh, oh, I did myself a camp. Yeah, so... Well, uh, it's a no, four, so it doesn't really matter. No, put your... No, he does. Yeah, he rolled a ten initially, so just go hover over the number, Tom or Tommy, and input ten. And then, yeah, you roll the one, so you might re-roll for your initiative, and then just add your initial initiative, so 14. Wait, what? Reroll your what initiative to put yourself in the tracker, and then make it 14. Uh, no, I he put it in. have him in the tracker. And descending. Is, uh, is the green box the temp hit points? Um... Technically, it doesn't really matter. I mean, the way I set it up is everyone should have blue. The, the blue box is temp for me, and the green box is health, because the blue is above the green, so it makes sense. That's why I did it that way. Okay. That's not no. That's not how it's showing up on the thing. I think the blue is the main health. It depends it on how matter. you want to do it. It depends on how you want to do it. Like okay, it doesn't really matter at all. Anyway, you are first to act on a swarm of uh, bugs, bees who are coming towards you. I imagine that they're fairly business. It's an actual swarm, right? So 
Yeah, it's an actual swarm. Right? I imagine they're resistant bit. to like normal attacks and but weak to either magic or area of effect attacks. Because they're not something. I, for example, cannot knock them prone. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be interesting. I think aren't they? Yeah, I, I, don't, I think swarms to... are immune to being prone, right? Yeah. Well, and, and it'd even be hard. if they aren't, then by now they are. Yeah. Well, yeah and if I do my crossbow, it's not like I'm gonna hit five of him at the same time. It's right. It's one it weapon damage, but I think it's even like halved with swarms. It's nasty. So I mean, I was I, I'm gonna I, my character would shit out. You, like if you got magic, use it. Um. Yeah. I, once. Once the bees get to within... I see them coming at me, I kind of push the people in front of me away. And as the bees get to within 15 feet of me, I yell, cover my ears, and I do thunder. <laughs> cover your ears? <laughs> I, I yell, cover your ears. Okay. <laughs> okay, um, they'll make a combined constitution save. No, nah, it's, uh, it's just one roll. Oh, oh yeah, yeah a, a combined, and they utterly, completely, and fully fail. They rolled a one? Yes. Nice, you do <laughs> extra damage. What, what spell slot are you doing this in, by the way? I have a one. Oh, okay. So it's 2d8. don't have any... Oh! <laughs> Is it enough, though? He does I four mean... damage. No, it's a swarm, so no. Hell no. Uh, oh. They have, they have like all their combined health. Ah. Uh, but so they do a, like, co a, a couple of them fall down. They fall out of the sky. You're like, like meh. Mall. I mean, they do get pushed away. Yeah, they get pushed away 10 feet. And you can fall back, like, how, you can still move back your movement if you want to not get hit. So now the. So wait, what um, was his movement? What were you doing? Are you gonna move? I, you gonna I stay was there? Waiting, I was waiting That's until it. they got close, and then once they got close, like boom. No, they were basically right in front, front of, of you. So you did that, so you can move back. Oh yeah. You can. They're not. Are they? They're and they're ten feet away, so they can't get an opportunity attack on you. So you could just run back thirty feet if you wanted. Where is everybody else in relation to me? I don't want to like be behind every way. You are. Yeah, you do. All of you are basically in a well, line I guess that's just true. If walking they're... up. Okay. So yeah, I do that. I will move kind of towards the back, but not the way way back. I don't want to look like I'm. Totally down out. The uh, knights are just casually looking at them. <laughs> Don't seem to be bothered to even do anything. No, I can't. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I'll cast a firebolt. Does a 19 hit? I just lost a swarm. It definitely hits. A 19 definitely hits. Yeah, it should hit. Okay. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Uh, it does bugger <sighs> off. So basically you hit like the, the above side of the swarm. So you scorch a couple of the uh, bees, but nothing major. Okay, I'm gonna move next to... Um, I'm gonna move next to our druid, who's apparently daydreaming. Tommy. I'm gonna. I don't know. How would you hit a swarm? You just you swing. You basically go, Yeah, you basically swing and hit a couple. Do you have a shield? Yes. You swing that, I guess. No. Is no. It, is there, there's it's not no how it works. Can, like somehow. Okay. Well, it could there's... be technically you could use it as an improvised weapon, but that kind of makes my feet a little meh because and it's kind of the point. An improvised it does weapon isn't that interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna try him. I say tries. Don't expect me to hit. Crit, crit, crit. You get plus six to hit. Um, they swarm all around your blade, and you miss. <sighs> so there's an entire freaking swarm of bees in front of you, and you slash, and they basically just fly around your sword. It's like cutting water. Uh huh. And and. Uh, from the moment they fly around your sword and then move towards you in an uh, attacking motion so you have a crap ton of bees all over you trying to find kings in your armor to get through and one actually makes it through your um, 
Head armor and critically hit you somewhere in your throat. Oh, jeez! <laughs> so, a, a, a decent amount of them managed to get through there and just sting you every which way. And that's a ton of damage. How much? Uh... Okay, that's uh, for the critical hit. It's... This times this? Yeah. Okay! So, there you go. take away seven of that for your temporary hit points and get rid of temporary hit points, you take 15 or 16 damage. Which is 33 minus 16. So you're not quite you bloodied. Down to 70. Wait, what? Yeah, you're not quite bloodied. Tyrannius. Okay, I'm going to uh, use my uh, uh, poison spray to spray at them. Here's the question, Rath. Where technically are they? They are now technically all around Tommy. They are in his square. They are oh. his square, basically. So I can't hit them without hitting him too, then. Yeah. That would be rather impossible. I'd say with magic... With a, with a, with a potion spray kind of yeah. area of effect thing. Yeah. You could do it like with a... You could hit him with a sword. I Like around him with a sword. I guess that's what I have to do then. So uh, I'll uh, use my uh, sword and... Uh, here we go. Battle roll. Nice. Uh, that's a hit. Your sword is uh, slashing all around the creatures, and you managed to hit a couple. Yay. Okay, thanks. And the knights aren't doing anything because it'd be really overpowered for us to be them be doing anything, so. They're, they're actually kind of laughing. <laughs> they find this funny. They don't see it as a real threat, so they're kind of like, <laughs> almost one hit. Hit them! <laughs> kind of like that. you uh, So, they're still around Tommy? Yeah. Could he vicious mockery the whole lot of them? Because they're bees. Or do they, are they immune to being... Like, what does vicious yeah. mockery even do? Read Vicious Mockery for me. Because there's like really nothing, might, unless you want to run up and stab them with your rapier and make a bee shish kebab. <laughs> One bee. <laughs> <laughs> One bee shish kebab. <laughs> Dinner time. Okay. So, you, unle you unleash a string of insults laced with subtle enchantments at a creature you can see within range. If the target can hear you, though it need not understand you, it must succeed on a wisdom throw or take 1d4 psychic damage and have disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes before the end of its turn. Since swarms count as one creature, I'm pretty sure, as a mechanic. What do you think, Wrath? You have never encountered such a thing, so you wouldn't know if it would or wouldn't work. Okay, what's up to you then? Well, if I get, it'd be one B anyways. If if that like worst case, and it's not like I get any more by swinging at it with my rapier. Technically, you do well because I don't think psychic damage would be halved. So theoretically, you have a chance to do more damage with your rapier. But the fact that it's not even that much of a difference, and they get disadvantage on their next attack, assuming it yeah, works. So, so yeah, I'll do, I'll do vicious mockery on this one. Uh, you do vicious mockery, you start an insult. What's the insult? You shouldn't be here. <laughs> oh my god. Get oh out. my lord. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, one of the bees seems strangely affected, but swarm just keep on keeps on swarming. Oh. 
<laughs> was it their leader? <laughs> That's my way of saying you're doing jack shit. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Can I cast Firebolt without hitting Marley? Um, it's not an area of effect, so technically yes, but on a one you'll hit Marley. Okay. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> well, that would be the same case with the sword, yeah. Uh, basically, yeah. Okay, so I'd rather do what's pro what I think is gonna do more damage. So here comes my one, and I'm, and I'm more than five feet away from him, yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's a hit. Five damage. So you scorch a couple of the uh, insects that are of bees that are swarming around, and the swarm seems to be kind of uh, lessened in size. Okay, I'm gonna move adjacent to both. I'm moving adjacent to both uh, Marley and Tyrannius. Since see they're within five feet of each other, there's got to be a place I can do that. You can get in between them, but... Well, he attacked with his sword, so he has to be within five feet. Yeah. So, I basically moved just so I'm next to basically both of them, in some fashion. Okay, okay so, so you basically take the attention of these guys by really? firing that's, them up. That's by firing them up, <laughs> and, and they're still swarming Tommy, but also I'm... moving towards you since you're close. loose. You guys ready for the crit? <laughs> yeah! Aw, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> close hit. Oh! There you go. <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't on the previous roll. <laughs> you, uh, you get a couple of them. And they are now swarming more towards golf. Oh, great. Trying to find a kink in his armor. <laughs> Still dead. Which they fail to. Yay! <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't see. Not all, none of the bees seem to find a way into your armor. Serenius. Don't hit me! <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess uh, I'll swing at the, uh, the bees again. Don't roll a one. Actually, shouldn't he roll- if he rolls a 1, then shouldn't he roll a normal attack roll? Because if you roll a 1, you absolutely fail. That's probably a miss. Yeah, that's a miss. So, the knights just stand there, watching and waiting for something to happen. At least for you to be done with those guys. And so nothing's open with the, like, the bees, are they flying, like, anywhere they're, above? They're on my square. Us? They're, ba they're basically now swarming golf. So the entire swarm of bees is zooming around golf rig and fairly close to Tommy. And Toby, you were standing basically next to it. Can I, like, tell them to duck and then I'll do a spell? No, because the swarm right. just goes around them, yeah, fully it's, around them. It's, yeah, it's not going to count. Just hit him with your rapier. Well, because the thing is, are there any, if it is a swarm and they're flying around him, does that also include above him? Yes, everywhere, but you hit the swarm itself, and It'd not a particular me. part of the swarm. Yeah, it, it, you'd have to basically hit my, you have to hit me to hit the swarm. Basically. With, are you going to take a 2d8? No! Just stab with your rapier, darn it! Okay. And get your eardrums pierced. <laughs> yep. Well, yeah. Alright. Um. He's just kebabs. That's a hit. Yeah, right. you do hit. Or that much. Oh, you get a decent amount of them. They're just kind of stuck on your blade. Yeah, they're stuck on your blade, just fly, f uh, flimsing their uh, wings. My Drake. turn. So they're on me, so I don't think I can firebolt them, yeah? <laughs> that would be fairly smooth. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a normal melee. Draw my sword and do a normal melee attack, I guess? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> 1d100. <laughs> See what happens. Watch, I'm gonna crit one of you guys. 
You get extremely scared by all the bees uh, flying around you, etc. And you basically swing your sword and then release it. And it just whizzes away for a couple of feet. So in my, and I quickly like draw my sword in that motion. I let go of it, so that's embarrassing. Yeah. Good thing yeah. I have a second weapon. <laughs> it's like the, the bees around you swarming. The, the, it, it's kind of scary, and you kind of try to draw your sword to cut them, but your hand just wasn't firm enough, and your sword flies out of your hand. You're here laughing. Mm -hmm. I said I didn't critically hit myself. <laughs> Tommy. Right, last time I was joking about the crit, but this time... Mm. Not yeah. a crit, but you hit. And thankfully not me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you slice a couple of them. Thank God for that plus four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the swarm goes to Toby. Yay! I impose disadvantage, because I can do that. I find it stupid that you can impose disadvantage on the swarm, but I don't see anywhere where that says you shouldn't be able to. Well, think so. about it. They're leaving me and going to him. As they're doing that, I impose my shield in front of him so that they have yeah, less places still, to go over it. Yeah, it's still a he, swarm. He has disadvantage. <laughs> the swarm doesn't care. Oh, jeez. It rolls the same twice. Oh. Does a 20 hit? Yes, that I'm hit me! Too. There's your damage. So three damage. Oh no, wait, half that. Half that? five. Yeah, five damage. Okay, I, so wait, 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 hold on, okay, just to be clear, so he- the, the swarm is basically bloodied, so he does half the damage, yeah? Yeah. So it's seven damage, there's so that's your temporary less, hit points. There's less than half of the swarm. So yeah, you have- So... You lost your temporary hit points. Bad. It's seven, because just- this is the first 2d4s. Yeah. Okay. So basically, theoretically, it doesn't actually hit you per se. You just Man, like you're so inspired. It, it, it does hit you, but you're inspired, and you can just kick, go on. And they are around you, so uh, go ahead. Okay, I'll swing again. <laughs> That'll be a miss. <sighs> Yuma! Fish kebab! Hits! It's a couple more. Yeah, you hit a couple more. Drake! Okay, I'm gonna draw my war pick that I had at my side. And melee to hit. Try to squash them. That's a hit. Yep. I'm assuming that that's not by 10, yeah? No, it's not by that. And basically, you squash the final remaining insects. Okay. And the rest just flee away. So I go pick up my sword. Of... I go pick up my sword. You pick up your sword. <sighs> Head hanging low. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? hanging low, too. Just saying. Right, I'm gonna roll one more and watch me crit. Don't <laughs> mind. <laughs> you almost okay. crit it! Yeah, yeah, yeah critically yeah. failed! Yeah. Alright. Uh, so the knights have a good laugh. And they uh, g come up to you and say, Don't take this personal, but yeah, this this was kind of funny. Sorry. <laughs> we, uh, we shouldn't laugh, but still. Are you guys ready to just go? Yeah. The city is a couple of miles further. We'll make it by the end of the day. Yeah. And you guys just move up. And, and I should be... At Amida. I should be fairly familiar with the city, by the way. Because this is where... Reasonably familiar, yes. You yeah. have been here a couple of times. I've been here a few times... Um, and, um, I have the Outlander thing, so I have a good memory for maps and geography and the like, so I assume I'd know the layout of the city fairly well. Uh-huh. So, um, Amida itself is based in two layers. You have the, the, basically the outer layer, 
which is um, well, it's not a circle. It's like it, it. It's like they started with a town, and after that, a town grew around it, and they basically just added walls wherever they thought walls were needed. So it's a mismatch of all types of walls, uh, different strengths, different sizes. Not formidable at all. The outer wall is mostly either earth rampant or uh, um, earth rampant combined with a palisade like you had in Marathon. The inner town or the inner wall is actually of a um, decent sized and thickness of stone. The walls are one, one and a half meter thick and around six to seven meters high. And they protect the inner part of the city. Um, the outer part of the city, as you are walking through it, it's um, uh, it's where the normal people live. You have you have normal shops. The normal people live there. And the inner part of the city, it's more like the place where the garrisons are. Um, the richer people live over there. The few that are there. And there is a um, there are two larger buildings. I'll, next to houses the one of them is the um the um, the town hall mm -hmm. and the second one is a building um which you do not recognize it's a new building and it's uh, above it it stands a sign which says that and i'll see I've never seen them before in real life, so is is that is that a, is that does anybody recognize that in game? Uh, yeah, no. Can we roll a check for it? No, none of you have been to Amida in okay. a short enough of time to actually know this. Okay. Or recognize it. Um, I send you a link with the uh, sign. Uh, before we go on further, could I request a break for to eat? Yeah, food break. Perfect, Perfect timing. Because I have to I'll go to the restroom. The, uh, I'll get eating. I'll make sure I'm going to eat as well. Uh, meet in about an hour, probably. Yeah. Just to be safe. Sounds good. So everybody do whatever. Uh, okay. Okay, see you in a bit. See ya. Have fun.